America's worst drug crisis is facing people in this country. The overdoses killed more than 59,000 Americans last year. The opioid crisis knows no bounds. It is affecting individuals and families in every congressional district. Its consequences are devastating. This morning's hearing on challenges and solutions in the opioid abuse crisis. Um, February 17th, 1996 was one of the best days of my life. My parents brought home the baby brother I'd been asking for since I was able to speak. He was always playing sports and cared about sports and then we noticed a loss for the love of that and that was kind of our first sign. Garrett was diagnosed with ADHD very early in life. When he became of age to make the decision to get off his medications for ADHD, he began to self-medicate. It was just that phone call. Um, and I just dropped to the ground because I knew, so. I lost my little brother and only sibling on February 9th, 2017 to a synthetic opioid that was delivered straight to him in the mail from China. Well, if I can reach one or two other people or even if I can't save somebody, if I can share my story and that helps the progress of somebody, another family member going through the same thing. I cannot be any more inspired at this point to do whatever I can to reach out to families like mine. We are working hard to address the opioid crisis, and this week we will be offering bipartisan solutions to stem the tide of synthetic drugs and opioids devastating our community.